Tyler Jones here for Indiansports.com at Haskell Indian Nations University. Uh, the Arise event going on as uh, we're discussing uh, the impact the Native American athletes could have uh, in their communities, what sports necessarily does. And we're joined by Nico Montano. She uh, is a, a UFC women's champion, a 4 and 2 record, was also the a tough. 26 winner, and this is as recently as just December 1st. She uh, won that title. Uh, first off, tell us uh, what, what, what brings you to town. What, uh, how, how did you get involved in, in this experience? Um, I got a message off of Facebook, and then I got a message coming from my manager, side coach, Tom Vaughn, asking if I wanted to be part of this Rise um, conversation here, and I definitely wanted to. I mean, this is absolutely the avenue I want to go down. Um, in terms of being a champion, I wanted to express the uh, the insightful part of being a champion and indigenous as an indigenous female as well. So, uh, so tell me about your career. You uh, obviously are the champ right now and everything. How did you get to this point? I imagine it took so many hours of hard work to, to get to this point. Does it has it sunk in yet? Yeah, I mean, I, I I know how much work I put in. I know how much dedication, how much sacrifice I had to make. You know holidays away from my home, holidays away from my sister, my grandparents, when they want to come out and they want to go eat, you know, I have to wait, cut. I can't eat that. <laughs> and a lot of the time that's where our um, ceremony comes from too, is eating the wealth, right? You're sharing the prayers, you're eating in the happy thoughts and everything, and I can't be a part of that, so sometimes it, it breaks my heart, but through those, through those hard times, you know, comes the best times sometimes, and that's exactly what happens now. Now I'm part of these sorts of discussions that are meaningful to me. Um, that motivate me, you know, my tribe, my people, the indigenous nations, what moves me to become the best, to be the best, so that I keep, that I can keep having this platform to speak for everybody on behalf of everybody. And, you know, I also love the sport of MMA. I love being an MMA artist. So, you know, I'm just happy about being here. Well, and you're using your platform. It's being, uh, as this UFC champion, it's it's more about just fighting for you. I mean, you're you're using this as a, a way to express more than, than just what goes on in, in the octagon. Exactly. Um, you know, I can bring people to tears. I can bring a smile to people's face when I'm fighting. And I love that feeling. I love that feeling of them feeling some sort of sensation. And that's, you know, originally where hope and faith comes from. And so to have that that truth and to be expressive in that vulnerable stage, especially on the stage in front of so many strangers who are willing to just judge you and tell you what you're doing wrong. But amongst them, knowing that you have your supporters, you have your family, you have the people who have seen you through the struggle, and they're so proud of what you've done, even if you're not completely aware of what's happening at that moment. Um, it just means so much, it means a lot. And you know, I can't thank everybody enough for having me as part of the panel today. That's, uh, that's great to see. So, so tell me about what's next for you. I know you're the champ right now, you know, but what's, uh, what, what are you looking forward to uh, for, the, for the rest of your career and, and, uh, and, and using your platform? Um, I definitely plan on defending this belt numerous times. Um, that's the I, spirit. Yeah, <laughs> I plan on staying the champ, um, but I know as a fighter you can go either, you can go either way, you know, but the champion isn't, isn't described by having a belt isn't the tangible trophy you have, it's the heart you have, the willingness you have, the bravery you have to sit up here and discuss things that are happening in current times on Navajo land, on any indigenous part of this um, America and this world that aren't bring, that aren't in, on the newspapers, that aren't coming up in social media. You know, it's the hard times that I feel like people look up to um, for a leader. It's the hard times that they, they bring to light, they bring it out of all the communities and they show the best parts of the communities as well. Um, but yeah, so a lot of a lot of stuff like this and a lot of defending of the belt is in my future. So so a couple more things and we'll let you run here. Uh, what's would, what would be your message to uh, to native youth that uh, want to inspire necessarily to be an athlete or, or just those uh, trying to find what they what they want to do? What, what would be your message to them? I would say to truly find what you're passionate about first um, and then uh, surround yourself with a, with a supportive team. Surround yourself with family, friends, you know, whoever's there from the get-go um, and trust in them. You know, I have coaches who 
put in, I, you know, in my head, I'm the best. I think I'm the champion. I don't need anything else, you know, uh, taught. But I have coaches here to keep me in reality, to tell me the truth, to tell me I need to work on this. And so when you have that supportive group, you become more creative, you're more elaborate, you have more, uh, more minds to come up with the best, the best creation, the best ideas for, for your position. Last thing, uh, how can people connect with you and, and follow your journey uh, on, on, on this ride and be a, be, be a, part, of, be a part of your team? Um, everyone can look for me on Instagram um, at NR Montano, or we just got a website going. So Nico Ray Montano, um, you can find that on my Nico Montano MMA page as well. I need to figure out the URL for that website. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Nico underscore Montano at yahoo.com for any sort of um, options for me or uh, opportunities for me to come and speak to any communities or events. That's where I'm Reach that. Awesome stuff. She's Nico Montano. I'm Tyler Jones here from Haskell Indian Nations University for IndianSports.com.